The games at Brock are going to make a huge difference uh, for the future of the institution, for students, for, for many decades to come. Uh, it's going to change the uh, campus life from an athletic, from a social, and also from a research and educational point of view, providing opportunities for students to be more active on campus, uh, to engage in more social teamwork-based uh, activities and, and fun recreation that's so good for, for mental health and for a sense of belonging. Uh, it's also going to be great for uh, instructional opportunities related to Brock's thriving programs in sport and sport management, athletics, uh, and, and health studies. And of course, it plays a really important role in the life of uh, the university from a research perspective, affording new opportunities for research uh, that, have, uh, uh, that are really unprecedented or unusual uh, for, for a university in Canada. This is exciting to see. It's a state-of-art facility it will not only benefit Brock University, but the Niagara region for years to come. And what I'm most excited about is the opportunity to bring back thousands of people, athletes, their supporters, their families, friends, and members of the uh, Niagara community and beyond together next year to celebrate the reopening of competitive sports in our country. The games are a tremendous opportunity because they're in Brock University's backyard. So we've leveraged since the moment the bid started to activate through research curricular, which is teaching and learning and community engagement to just enhance and elevate our student learning experience. And it's been all hands on deck at the university since then and will continue as we kind of round out this last year and lead up to the games.